Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4, and today I want to bring you guys more strategies for Battlefield 4. And today we're going to be talking about the Type 95B1, we're going to be talking about its positives and its negatives. But first, let's start talking about the positive side about the Type 95B. Now, the best thing about this weapon it is it is the best weapon all around that you can shoot from short range to long range to medium range, it's just perfect all around. And uh, when it comes down to short range, I recommend to aim down the field. Aim. Do not use the hit fire. Hit fire, like I'll give you some personal stats right here. 10% um, of the time, I'll hit fire. And uh, here's some reasons why. Just check out your screen right now. I'll take out a guy. I'm about to take out another one. Throw a random frag. And then right now, two guys are going to boot rush me right now. Two guys. One with a shotgun, the other one with a sniper, I'm guessing. And bam, I took him down by aiming down the field. I think it's better like that because uh, the the sight that it has, that sight allows you to aim short range to long range, which is pretty good. There's some certain carbon rifles that really do not need no short range, so you're going to have to keep your distance. But this one, I recommend it. It does perfectly well from short range to long range. And, um, you know, the 1025 b also has the tendency in increasing my KD because I can sneak around. I can take out enemies when I wanted it to take them down. And, um, you know, the 1025 b will actually give you that damage on this weapon. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, above average. I think it's above good, you know. It's just great. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much the positive side about the 1025 b It's accurate. It's there. has the damage. It's great from short range. From medium range also, it's very deadly. So, uh, as you can see on your screen right now, I just took out a guy from short range. And it was pretty much impossible for some of you guys and you guys are going to be thinking like how the hell did you even pull that off we'll have quick reaction and uh the gun can actually take out the enemies from short range as i told you so um so yeah that's pretty much it the positive side about the type 95 b1 the negative side about the type 95 b1 is that it's very goddamn bipolar like right now the gun is all over the place when you're shooting down the down the field it goes sometimes like one out of six times it goes all over the freaking place and then like somehow, some way, the next shot can turn into pinpoint accurate shots. Like take this for example. It's very goddamn accurate. I don't know why it does that, but it's like that. I don't even know why. So that's the problem with this weapon. It just turns into very bipolar weapon. Like sometimes it'll do good, sometimes it'll do bad. But um, you know, most of the time it'll do good. Though that's one one thing I promise you guys. It will do good most of the time. And um, I just want to give you like a percentage. Like for example, sh like from hip firing. 50% of the time, it'll do good. That's why you see me using barely using the hip, the hip fire because I, I really don't trust it most of the time from short range. Now, short range aiming down the field, you can actually get every single shot no matter if it's really, really rattling out there. Like, uh, like it's shaking way too much. Even though it's shaking way too much, you can still get the enemy. From medium range, you can actually, um, you know, miss a lot of shots when it comes down to bipolarism. Uh, like maybe like one out of six times will actually turn bipolar and you can actually miss all them shots. It does that. From long range, like one out of three times that you shoot your gun, the gun will go all over the freaking place. That's that's what that's one thing that really sucks about this weapon. Like I don't know why it does that. That's the problem. That's the biggest problem I ever faced in when it comes down to any assault rifle out there and any FPS shooter. So, um, so yeah, it has bipolarism, but you know, at the same time, it's an incredible, great weapon because it's an all around weapon. You can use it from, from big maps to short maps to very medium maps. And uh, you know, it's just all over the place. And uh, when it comes down to open field shots, like for example, you see your opponent in open field, like in the middle of a freaking farm or something, it, it, it does have that tendency of being bipolar also. So I don't know. You're going to be have to, you're going to have to sneak behind the enemy. I prefer to uh to look at my video right now and use the same attachments because th these attachments are the ones that are keeping me alive the silencer the great sight i mean all rods is performing pretty much well for the past two weeks this gun has increased my kd more than the other carbon rifles out there i mean like literally when i started using it like a like a like two weeks and a half ago uh my kd has risen up like tremendously and two weeks and a half ago, I was like uh, 1.60 in KD. Now I'm at 1.74. It's going up, guys. I'm doing incredible with this gun. So I really recommend it. And also, it's going to take you a while to unlock because it is, it is the last carbon rifle to unlock in the carbon rifle division.
so you're gonna have to do some work so anyways the end of the video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it i went over 20 plus kills and seven deaths i think like 24 7 i think i think that's the record and um but overall i did pretty much well i performed pretty well and uh, from short range it was incredible um you want to help out your squad you know use this weapon it is very sneaky and you're gonna set up your teammates in a good, very good position when they spawn on you so um so yeah that's pretty much it guys leave a like leave a comment to me what's up and more battlefield 4 strategies coming up